Hey, what's going on everybody? What we're looking at here is a test I'm doing for Tom, who owns an organic blueberry farm, and he has been interested in the project of my steam cleaner. So, we're running two tests simultaneously here today. The first test is, does this device need a water pump to function? So, we basically just have it connected directly to the municipal water supply, which around here I believe is about 30 PSI. It may be 60. I can't remember. But the second part of the test is how much steam does it take to actually kill the plants? Because after all, we're burning propane. And this needs to be economically viable to be worth anybody's time. So if it costs $1,000 a month in propane to kill these weeds, I'm not going to be able to afford these blueberries. I mean, organics are already expensive enough. So hopefully it doesn't take a lot of steam to kill these weeds as you can see I'm not really gonna bludgeon them to death but I'm under the impression after this test that it is going to take a water pump and it is going to take enough steam to literally cook the plants if you will to wilt them badly and um, from in my findings from today's experimenting if you can't smell vegetation cooking and it does have a smell then you're not wilting them bad enough. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any after footage, which can take up to three days to show its, the signs of its effects. Um, typically, you want the plants to be severely wilted and, and kind of see if you can get them to change color, if at all possible. I don't know what's going on with the lighting there. But for the most part, I think um, I need to add a little bit more steam than this. This was just with the hose. And I don't think I like the way it worked out. So we're going to try this with the pump. And we'll take a look at how it goes with the pump. Okay, so all of that footage was done with this unit not being connected to a pump. It's just connected to municipal water supply, which is about 30 PSI around here, I think. Maybe 60. Nowhere near enough pressure for this thing to work at optimum levels. We got red hot towards the end there, which is not good. We don't want superheated steam for this. Okay, we now have a pump hooked up to the system. That's going to give us the higher pressure we need to get some usable steam. These plants just don't look wilted enough. I'm going to do a wet, saturated steam. I got a feeling that hot water is kind of helping to cook these plants a little bit. So I'm going to go with the wetter steam in this test. Okay, so right off the bat here, we can see the pressure is pretty high. And I think we could do better with the coil suited specifically for organic de-weeding. I think um, this model tube is just it's suitable for cleaning things, but as far as producing steam for agricultural purposes, it's it's too much pressure I think. I think a bigger coil, a little bit lower pressure, can produce more steam with the same amount of heat. It's a lot of pressure when, when I think 30 to 40 PSI on a bigger coil would probably be better. Um, you can't see the steam in warm weather very well at all. So if you're wondering why you don't see any steam, that's why. It's just it's in hot weather it's invisible when it's kind of hot so kind of one of those things but for the most part this test pointed out a lot of things that need to be dealt with today so it isn't a total loss at all we are going to take a look at these weeds to see how things went and uh, i got a feeling we're going to have to apply way more steam than what i was applicating today but uh, that's what testing's all about. We've learned some stuff. I think uh, for the most part, I do not believe this coil is suitable for this application at all. I think I want to go with the 3 8 copper tube with a little bit lower residence time for that water. Because the water is just flying through this coil at like 30 miles an hour or something. Who knows what. But it's going through there pretty quick. And I think it'd be better if we had a bigger coil with a lower residence time. We could use lower water pressure and not have such a huge back pressure because uh, that's what's happening. We're surging a lot and um, 
for the most part. This may be okay. If I walk outside tomorrow morning and see a bunch of dead weeds, then I'll be happy. I just feel like the pressure is blowing stuff around quite a bit. I feel like it might be better if the pressure was lower because we are also in training a lot of cool air in the steam and train flow from Venturi effect of the atmospheric air is kind of taking a lot of power away from us. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I'd rather it didn't blow rocks around the way that it does. I'm trying to not let that happen. But uh, for the most part, who knows, this may be perfect. I don't know just yet. We're going to do a couple more tests on this thing and see how it goes. And uh, I'll give you guys some after footage as soon as I got it. I'm going to go ahead and post this footage from the client without the after footage because it's going to take three days and I got to have this posted right away. So, Tom, this is what we uh, came up with on today's test. I think I'm going to build a completely different burner for this application and everything. Um, that way you don't have to have an air compressor. Surely we can come up with a ceramic catalytic converter burner or something or uh, just an awesome ribbon burner. I could probably build the most awesome ribbon burner we've seen in a while that is a kind of like a, a tubular quadrilateral setup or some kind of crazy awesomeness. But uh, I'm going to shut up now and... Um, see if we can get to the bottom of this test. For the most part, we did learn that uh, you have to have a pump. I think a water pump is going to be necessary no matter what. Because the longer the hose, the less pressure you're going to get, and so on. And it just doesn't seem like you're getting enough steam. But uh, I'll get some clips of what these weeds look like in a couple of days. Three days, I believe, is the limit. So we'll go with that and see what happens. Also, on tomorrow's test, what we're going to be doing is where we completely douse the weeds with steam. Today's test was focused more around the economics. How little can we get by with? If we go out there tomorrow and nothing's dead, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going about to do some serious steam wilting. But, you know, how expensive will that get? So I need to get a scale and weigh the propane tank, propane tank because... Um, it's just stupid of me trying to toss these figures out there. We really need to know exactly how much propane is being burnt here. I mean, this is just not... The torch that's connected to this steam gun is uh, something that I've created. It um, burns a lot more propane than you think. It is quite the little torch. It's so hot and so powerful, in fact, that you can braze quarter-inch steel with it. It's 400 degrees hotter than standard propane torches. Of, uh, of any size. I don't care how big they are. This thing's 400 degrees hotter. So, for the most part, uh, yeah, that's another thing we need to eliminate is that torch. But tomorrow we're going to hit some weeds with some serious steam and uh, see what happens. This today was just to see if we can get by with just a little bit. Okay, fellas, so I ran out of propane. But today's test was to determine if we could get by without a pump of any kind. And, it, and so far from what I'm seeing, 100 PSI is important. You've got to be at the very least 100 PSI on the water input or it just doesn't do well. The last portion of the video, we've seen this pump here in action. Don't worry about reading the specifications on that pump. It's all big Chinese lie. And uh, I think 110... PSI is the most I could get out of this thing at like uh, or no 115 at 18 volts so we're probably doing 100 PSI max here with just 12 volts on this little transformer that seems to be working okay so far this right here is what we want to see if it doesn't have that cooked me look to it you're not getting where you want to be that's a nice cooked leaf there. So there you have it. 